Welcome. I'd like to introduce to you our DC Vision Interactive LED Panel Display, the DC Hub, which comes equipped with an 8 megapixel HD camera and uh, with inbuilt microphones. Um, I'll just give you a quick demo on, on the display and just show some of the functions that the display has. So the display also supports uh, dual uh, operating systems, Android and Windows. Uh, so right now we are on Android, so I'll just give you a quick rundown of the, the page. This is the home page. So at the bottom, the display, you can see the temperature of the display. You can increase the volume, the brightness, and you can also change the, the background uh, of, of the home page. You can also see your different ports, which are available on the display. You can also go to your settings and you can power off the system. Uh, going up, uh, on either side of the display, you have quick shortcut menus. The first option is to go back, that, uh, back step back. The second option is to go home. Third step is to see the open applications. The fourth step is to annotate. So if you want to annotate on the display, you can select the color, in red. Uh, and you can annotate on, on the presentation that you'll be doing. You can, when you exit, it will ask you to save, or if you don't want to save, you won't save the file. Uh, coming down, you can also see the different ports that you have on the display. And at the, the last option, you can have also quick tools to see like the time date, the quick tools, the quick applications, like uh, just shortcuts that you have at the bottom, you can either go to your windows, you can switch off the display or go to your settings. Uh, also, the display has a floating menu, which can be customized to like to input applications that you want. So if you have Chrome, you can add the, customize it and add like, uh, for example, I can add the calendar. That's the shortcut menu. And now the option is taken. Um, going to the other functions of the display, you can also have like the whiteboard software and on the whiteboard software at the bottom, uh, you can interchange the menus, the menus that are on your right side, they can go on your left side and interchange. So now I'll just start with the, the ones that are on my left side. Uh, so you can have like your, like you can open a file, you can save, you can export. Uh, you can import a file, you can also uh, like email the presentation that you'll be working on and also open your settings. Uh, apart from that, you also have other functions like for, like you can add a timer and you can change the time uh, according to what you want up until one minute, one hour, then you start and it will start uh, counting down. You can also have calculator and it will, it will pop up. So you can easily move it and flow. Also, you can generate a QR code to easily share between your, your students to, to their tablets or to their smartphone. Uh, you can switch the tablets again, the, the menus, uh, to bring the other side of the menu. So, uh, you can add pages, so this is page 3, I can add another page, page 4, so now there are a total of 4 pages which are open, and uh, you can close this, then you can also change, like, come to your pen, uh, you can change the color of the pen, and the thickness of the pen, and also like if you have the, the exact color that you want to use, you can use this uh, uh, shortcut. Uh, let me change. So um, you can also use like your eraser. You can either have an eraser to erase. Or you can use a full eraser 
that will select like an area that you want to erase and erase. You can also add shapes. So if I can draw a triangle or I can draw uh, an ellipse. Um, then next tab, on the next tab you can change the, the background of the board. So if you want it to be green, confirm and to be green. Or if you want to change the like the images which are there, you can just change and it will confirm. You can also undo or redo. So if I want to undo something that I've done or redo, it will it will change. I can select like uh, what I want to move and and move it. Then on the pen, there are two options. You can either have it's under single, so under sing under single, so only one person can write. So, so like you know, two people cannot write at the same time. But the cool function about this that you can do, you can zoom in and zoom out on um, on the picture that you'll be working on or on the area that you'll be working on. If it's selected on multi, so now. Uh, like a lot of people can just write on, on the display or you can write uh, write read at the same time uh, you can also clear the full page of what you are working on and I can quickly go back to my menu uh, if you can have the file manager to see files like if you have your USB uh, or external drive, then the files will be easily pack up from, from this. Uh, the VIP, like if you have a presentation that you have and you want a template to be showing on the screen, you can customize it here. Uh, if you also want to share between your mobile phone and tablet or, or laptop, you can use eShare, which is an application that comes with it, so you can share between your, your devices. Uh, you can also browse the internet and also you have other applications that you can you can install uh, also the display comes with google play store so you can use this to download other applications that might be necessary to your application uh, now i'll just quickly go to to the ops uh, so you can use the interchange to your ops where you can use our other softwares, our J Junction View or JC View, which is a whiteboard software. So, apart from this, since I've spoken about the camera, uh, you can come to just to show you the 8 megapixel HD camera. You can use it with your Zoom application or Skype. So we can start the meeting.